They say clothes make the man. Well, the clothes are Nicky Lauder's, but the contents are me, Murray Walker, here at Silverstone to achieve a life's ambition. Drive a Formula One Grand Prix car. Nicky Lauder's 1983 McLaren MP4. It's clearly a good life being a Grand Prix driver, world travel, luxurious surroundings and beautiful women ministering to your every need. Now then, Murray, here's a little light lunch for you to set you off. It is something race. light, is it? Because I'm in a state of tension, I you know, know that. I know, severe tension. Now, what would you like to drink? Uh, just some water, I think, please. Some water. Jenny, have you got a glass of water there? there you Thank are, you, eh? Jenny. Thank you very much. This looks great. But now, to psych myself up, a little lie down and a quiet think about the whole terrifying prospect. The time has come, the 500 horsepower McLaren, Silverstone to myself, and as my guide and tutor, it's the other half, James himself. So the boot is indeed on the other foot. Right, but a little bit of practice, actually. Then, yes, you, what you can have is a removable steering wheel, and if you've got legs no, like mine, I wouldn't have been able to get in. James, I have seen lots of people who are incomparably better than I am, obviously, stalling when they get away from the start. So what do you have to do to, to avoid that? I don't want to make a fool of myself before I even leave. <laughs> no, you just got to keep the revs up enough to keep the engine running smoothly, right? So you're probably about 4,000. And let the clutch out slowly and just let it drive away. But the clutch is quite fit. It's a it's a funny sort of gear shift gate with one down here and two up there and then three, four and five. How difficult am I going to find it to, to get across the gate, never having done it before? And you notice how <laughs> no. I keep emphasizing. No, you will find once you get used to it, find first, and then there's a, you've got to come against the spring yes, the first, yeah. right? First is down yes. towards you in the spot, because yes. so the, the gate's very, it's a long yes. time since I haven't driven one of these. It's the same old thing. And then the spring will take it, if you just push straight forward, the spring will push it up in oh, a second, yeah. okay? Yeah. You won't get reverse, right? Yeah. You will find that the gear shift is very direct and very simple. So I'm off, but I must keep it going. Don't stall it, don't bend it, but don't crawl round. Give it a go. Well, Murray, best of luck. <laughs> Thank you, James. Well, I'm going to need it, I think. And um, make sure you entertain us. <laughs> <laughs> Very good so far, Murray. You couldn't tell it wasn't Nicky Lauder himself. Ah, there you are. Mistake number one. You have crossed the white line. That is uh, a big ticking off from the clerk of the course. Well, I suppose deservedly. I didn't even see a white line. I was so pleased at getting out of the pit lane and onto the circuit. And, and, and I was saying to myself, now, James, this is just like driving a tremendously powerful four-wheel motorbike. Yes, well, it's got that sort of performance, but plus a little bit extra in, in a straight line. Good line? into Beckett's there, but uh, you didn't use all the road there, you see, Murray. You've got to, if you want to be quick, you've got to use every inch, as you well know. Yes, I, I well knew, but I didn't want to spin it off and, and see myself trudging back despondently to the McLaren pit. Well, not half as much as the McLaren pit crew didn't want to see you do that, either. <laughs> well, here That's we... a very good line. That is good. Excellent through stone. Now, I thought I was really going here. I co I'm coming up to the chicane, and I was determined to get through as quickly as I possibly could. Straighten it out, it's a nice straight line. Very good indeed. I was not banging the wheels on the curbs, looking after the car. Mm -hmm. Winding up the revs in, what are you, in fourth gear now. You must have got the engine up to about 8,000 RPM. There we go, any driver would be proud of that. <laughs> 
15.6, 1 minute 15.6 seconds for a lap, that's only a second over the lap record, they've certainly got a great sense of humour, these McLaren chaps, more like a minute 55 I'd say. No, no, I think that was the accurate time, Murray, it was 15.6 minutes. Oh, thanks, but now it's all over, they've shown me the come in board, but hello, what's this? I'm with McLaren and there's Ken Tyrrell, the ace talent spotter, waiting for me, perhaps he wants to sign me up. There you are, there you are. Don't move. Don't move. And next time, come in when you're told. Yes, sir. <laughs> Three times. Sorry, you could have run out of pictures. Oh, boy, you could get to like this, couldn't you? <laughs> well done. The thing that amazes me, James, is how incredibly precise it is, because you just turn the steering wheel. You don't turn the steering wheel. You just move it a fraction, and the whole car darts about and you can feel it shaking all around you. The noise isn't nearly as much as I expected it to be, to be quite honest. The response to the accelerator is, when you're used to driving the sort of cooking motor cars I'm used to driving, is absolutely unbelievable. Just like, it's like being in a catapult, like I imagine being in a catapult is. You just go, wham, straight forward, like that. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Can't get out. <laughs> I am absolutely drenched inside here. Thank you, Graham, very much. Thank you, Steve. Marvellous. That was the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> One very overexcited Murray. Well, do you think he's got a future? Now, after what's been an absolutely magical day for me, there is only one thing left that I want to do. And so, with Nicky Lauder and with John Watson beside me, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is it.